Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is verb phrase 244. The verb phrase today is to give pause. Okay, let's take a look at the note here. If someone says that something gives pause or gives someone pause, uh, sometimes we say pause for thought, you know, because that's why you are pausing to think. Uh, it means he or, she, he or she should have reason to delay or reconsider or stop and think again. Okay, let's continue. The origin of the word pause is believed to derive from the Latin word pausa, okay, meaning a halt or a stop. Uh, Greek or, or possibly the Greek pausis, meaning stopping. Let's continue. Seems to have appeared in English around the 1400s. This phrase may have been popularized due to Shakespeare from his play Hamlet. Uh, the phrase comes from Hamlet's soliloquy. Remember, soliloquy, that's when uh, somebody is on stage by themselves. And they have to talk so you know what the character is thinking. So they have a whole speech of what they're saying. Because the, there's not a dialogue going on with other actors. This actor is by himself. And unless he talks, you don't know what's in his head. So he has to kind of like give a speech like he's, this is what he's thinking. So, uh, and the famous soliloquy, of course, is to be or not to be. We've all heard this, but sometimes we don't. Not everybody, I think, realizes what to be or not to be is about. He's thinking about possibly committing suicide. That's what to be or not to be. Not to be would mean that he would kill himself. To be means to continue to live. Okay. Uh, let's continue. Um, all right, here is the quote from the part of the soliloquy that contains give pause, because actually the soliloquy is really long. It begins with, you know, to be or not to be, but it actually is quite long. So we're skipping right to, right to the part that's close to give pause. For that sleep of death, remember, he's thinking about committing suicide. For that sleep of death, what dreams may come uh, when we have shuffled of this mortal coil. All right, he's, he means when, when we get rid of our bodily skin, you know, he's talking about going, entering the spiritual world. If you die, then your, 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 your body is gone. You know, you, you shuffle of it, you get out of your body. So what dreams may come when we shuffle of this mortal co coil must give us pause. Meaning, well, maybe we should think twice about this. I don't really know where I'm going. Uh, I don't know if I should commit suicide. Uh, a little bit like that. That's kind of what he's saying here. That was part of um, the famous soliloquy. Okay, anyway, and we got three examples here of how we use it. Uh, I really want that job, uh, but the fact that I will have to work overseas away from my family gives me pause. I mean, you know, makes me think about it. Well, I'm, I don't know if I should accept that so quickly. Maybe I better think about this. Or number two... I was about to propose, and I know she could sense it, but the look on her face gave me pause. So I didn't do it. Perhaps she's not ready yet. So this may be a guy, he was going to propose, and he could see that she was sensing it, but maybe she didn't have a happy face. And then, then maybe he just pretended it was something else. Uh, so it gave him pause. He decided not to ask, or at least not to ask at this time. Okay, and number three here, uh, once you find out the facts about that issue, it should give anyone pause who would support it. Yeah, maybe there's some issue you thought it sounded like a good idea, but when you found out the real details behind it, you think, well, maybe this is not such a good idea. Maybe it should give you pause. Maybe you shouldn't be supporting this. Okay, anyway, I uh, hope you got it. I hope it's clear. I hope it was very informative. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.